One mistake I made when I first started using Notion was thinking the best experience was on the app. And that's the case with most software. If you have used Evernote or Todoist, you're gonna go download that Mac application or that Windows application and not really deal with the web version. But that's not the case with Notion. Notion's best experience and the most native experience is on a web browser. So if you wanna be a first class citizen of Notion, you wanna use it on the web. With that being said, here are four ways to enhance Notion on Chrome to have a better workflow. All the links to the extensions I'm gonna mention are gonna be in the description description below as well as the timestamp. So if you want to jump around the video, you can do that as well. Hey, I'm Irfan and this channel is all about habits and living intentionally, but I also do videos on Notion just because I really love the software. So you'll see a bunch of videos on how to's and templates I've created, but enough of that. Let's get to these four enhancements. Okay guys, so this is my homepage for Notion and the first enhancement is getting to your Notion homepage really, really quickly using an extension where every single time I click on new tab, it automatically takes me to my homepage. So again, I have a click on new tab it just takes me to my Notion homepage. I really like this because it just makes you use Notion more often. It gets you to your most favorite links. So for me, like task management, creation, goal plan, goals, goals and plans, and learning growth are right there rather than clicking on the app. So the way to get this enhancement is to use a Chrome extension called New Tab Direct. And if you click on New Tab Direct here, if you click on Options, you'll have the ability to put whatever your new tab is gonna be. So it'll be your Notion homepage, put that in there, you'll save it. And you definitely wanna click on always update tab, not redirect. This will ensure that when you open up a new tab and you just wanna search Google, it'll let you do that. If you don't have this click, you will have to go into the address bar and then start typing. But this is just an awesome way to just get into your homepage right away. So next up is a way to go into specific Notion pages right when you launch Chrome. So for me, when I launch Chrome and I've completely exited out of Chrome, it opens up three specific pin tabs for me. I have my inbox here. And when I'm on the internet, as I'm doing some research or whatever, I wanna do quick capture and that's my way to do it. I know this tab is always gonna be here for any sort of quick capture. So I can click here, go and put a new task or new idea that pops in my head. I can go right into this tab and type it out. This is just like any sort of quick capture application, but you could do this with Notion. It's really convenient. It's always this specific pin tab that I can go to for a quick capture. And then I also have my personal dashboard. So my morning ritual here and then agenda. So for this week, I have all the tasks that I'm doing. So I want that right there as well. I want these two tabs here. And then I have Google Calendar. Obviously this is not Notion. I know you can embed Google Calendar into Notion. And I know there's an API out there that you can connect Notion with Google Calendar. I just think this is much simpler just to have this. I just want Google Calendar here so I know what my day looks like, any events, what my week looks like, what my month looks like. I want this right here. So you can make these pin tabs anything you want. So if you use Notion for habit tracking, you could have that here. If you use it, do a daily journal, you could have it here. So to have these pins, you have to use an extension called Saved Pins. And if I click on here, you could see I have this startup is the one that auto loads and that's my inbox, my personal dashboard and my calendar and that's saved. And every single time I open up Chrome, those three pin tabs will open regardless of what I did previously, if I even closed them. So it's really, really handy to have that. And the combination of this and the new tab, it just makes Chrome very Notion centric and you can work in Notion really quickly. So the third way to enhance Notion is to use it as a bookmarking feature. So if you use Pocket or Instapaper, you can kind of replace those two services with Notion using a couple of different apps. The first one is the Save to Notion extension here, and this is the official Notion extension, but I don't think it's that great. I have an article here on Medium. So if I click here, it will take that and I'll save it to my specific Media Vault. So if I say Save Page, we can click on there, open in Notion. Again, really cool, it opens right into the browser. You could see it saved it, it saved the link to it, but it hasn't save the actual article for later. There's another app you can use called Notion Saver. So if we go back to this article and we click on Notion Saver, if you've seen my video on toggles and table of contents, you know this extension because I mentioned it then. You could save this to a specific database, so the Media Vault. But if you go here, you can use a specific template. So I have an article template that has a table of contents in it. So if it's a really lengthy article, you can already embed a table of contents up 
top so you can go to that to specific sections of that article. Also, you know, with the template, you could do whatever you want. You could have a notes section on the top so you could type notes as you're reading the article if you want to get back to it. So that's really cool. So we'll do save and go back, add new page, and I'll save. And again, you have a link here open in Notion. Again, it opens right into the web browser. We open this up, we have the same article and I have a notes here so I can take some notes on the article and then I can also have, and this person had closing thoughts and they used a header here. So that was captured. So like I said, this could replace a pocket or an Instapaper, but I just don't think the experience is there yet. There's a lot of times where you'll use this app and it just won't work, it won't capture the page. I think we're in early innings with this, but you could see how great this will be. I think right now the best web clipper is still Evernote. So if you could somehow maybe use the API and have things that you clip in Evernote and go into Notion. I think that's a possibility, but but the API is, you know, is still new and there's still bugs out there. I don't want to deal with any of that stuff, but I think this could be an incredible functionality for Notion using it to capture things on the internet. I know there's a lot of people who already do this. The final enhancement is using an extension called Notion Boost. And this just gives you more customization to your Notion setup and just little tweaks that are personal preferences. And again, this is the reason why I think it's so important to use Notion on a web browser versus just the app because you have these new functions. So the two that I really like is show outline. So we talked about the table of contents. So for this script here, I created for this video, how meta is that? I have a outline here that I can go to. So I can go to the intro. I can go back to save pins, the bookmarking tool, Notion boost. The other one I really like is open full pages instead of previews rather than opening up previews, which sometimes is helpful, but usually I like to go right into the page. There's that one less step. So I click on this page here, it'll go right into the full page every single time rather than showing me a preview of it. And there are 15 different customizations here and I know this developer is probably gonna add more to them. Um, it's just gonna make Notion better. And these are all personal preferences, but I think some of these are great to have. So those are the four enhancements. Did you already know those? Are there better extensions that I should know about? Let me know in the comments below. Also, are you feeling overwhelmed with Notion or new to Notion and not know where to start? I created a video right over here that goes through three principles to help you overcome that feeling of being overwhelmed.